Welcome back from... In Snowdonia. Very nice to meet you, Jeff. Nice to meet you, Faye. Sitting down with Faye with another lifelong collector. Rian only sold one piece, but Jeff's brought along, wait for it, 1,750. So I have fetched in you today the largest collection that I'm aware of, of matchboxes from all around the world. I would be happy to accept down as, as low as £250, but I really wouldn't want to accept anything less than that. I have never seen a collection quite like this one. And I've never seen one on the show. I've been watching the show for 10 years plus, and this is just a small selection out of one of the, the boxes that I keep them in. What you're selling today is the total collection of 1,700 matchboxes. 1,750 matchboxes, every one of them mounted, every one of them logged, all in immaculate condition. OK, so this is, I mean, this is obviously a little bit of an obsession of yours. If I see a matchbox which I've never seen, I still want it. And do you have a particular favourite on this table? My favourite out, out of the old collection is the one year, it's very simple, it was made for a wedding in 1983. How nice that I own a part of that couple's wedding. That's quite extraordinary. Mm. It's, like, it's, it's like looking into an history book. Concord. Concord's gone. Yeah, I still have a Concord, Concord one here. Now, let me see, which is the Concord one? Is that, am I right? That's Concord. That's it says Concord, Concord on the bottom as well. OK, that's yeah. brilliant. So it's not only people collecting the matchboxes, but people who are interested in Concord will put it amongst their Concord selection. Brilliant. Well, what can I say? I mean, I just having a quick look through, there's um, an FA Cup final one, which is Man United and Everton. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I know that quite a few people would be interested in, in that. And this is about having something which nobody else has got. OK, so you've obviously got a real passion here. So mm. why on earth do you want to sell them? Well, I'm going on holiday, and I want you to be the person who decides whether I go self-catering or whether, uh, <laughs> where, 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 whether I'm uh, fully inclusive. I want to know whether I'm going to Bogna Regis or whether I'm going to Barcelona. Oh, if you're going to go camping, you, you mustn't forget yeah. your matches. <laughs> so you, the young lady, is going to decide that for me. Shall we see if we can strike a deal? <laughs> did you like what I did there? I loved it. I, I, oh, I, I, my I goodness. I, I genuinely don't know what to do here. Do you know that every one of them, and I don't know if you realise that, still have the matches in them? The matches are still in these, you know. Jeff, I think you're going to be a little bit upset with me. There's 1,750 here, and obviously at a pound a piece for a true collector, you'd be happy with that. I can't do that, I'm afraid. I'm going to put some money down and we'll see what happens. There's 20 pound there. There's 40 pound there. What is it? Are you buying one? Are you buying the Man United Cup final one? What about the 1749 others? Jeff. I'm sure I'm, I'm sure you're already a smiling lady. I'm sure you can put a better smile on my face. Because it's you. There's another £20 on the table making it £60. But Jeff, I don't want to fall out, but well, that is where I want to be with these. As pleasant as you are, I'm sorry you don't match. My expectation. I like what you did there. So too. It's I'm, very uh, good. So you're going to auction. I'm going to auction. Jeff, I really do wish you all the very best with them, and yeah. I hope you do really no problem. well. Best luck, people. I know I only offer Jeff sixty pounds, but that's all they're worth to me. But I really, really hope he does well in auction because he's such a character and he was such a smashing bloke. The offer I had today was quite meagre. Fagin was here instead of Faye. I'm expecting a quadruple the offer at auction. Is auctioneer Simon as confident? I think Faye's bid was a fair bid. I think these are going to struggle at auction. But at the end of the day, I'm sure there's a buyer out there who'll love them. Let's hope so. OK, here it is, Jeff. This is the collection. We've heard all about it. There are 1,750 max boxes. It's an amazing collection. How many years did it take? 50 years. 50 years collecting. There's a lot of work gone into uh, assembling this. Well, you'll never see another collection like it, so we'll start at £40 and see where we go. At £40 I'm bid, £45 I've got, £50, £55, £60, 
at £60 and bid. 60 the same offer in the sale room as you were offered on the deal today. And bid. Are we five again? Well, well, it's for nothing, isn't it? But she's for no money. Sixty pounds for a wonderful collection, fair play. Are we all done then at sixty pounds? I'll take you five quickly. All done at sixty. The gavel has gone down at sixty pounds. Come here, buddy. It's a bit disappointing because fifty years of collecting, the memories are probably worth a lot more. You're only going home with forty-nine quid. What are you going to do? Well, the, the forty-nine pounds, the, the the collections from around the world, but the forty-nine pounds will pay my fare to press that in for a day out. Now, what more can I say? Press that in. That'll pay for the fare there. Another experience is going to be uh, had by Jeff. I'm going to lean towards Faye here because the sixty pounds had no deductions. So Faye. You were absolutely to the shilling on the prize. That was the real deal. I'm saddened. I do feel like crying to a degree, but I think Faye will still be crying because on the World Wide Web, she knows she could have got ten times that amount. Are you ready? <laughs> dry your eyes, everybody. Maybe Jeff should try our competition. Here is